Aquarius. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. This is for those of you guys who are, you're an Aquarius and you're dealing with an Aries, whether it's an Aries sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Mars, or Mercury. You're dealing with an Aries placement. So let's go ahead and pull some cards here. Um, let's go ahead and pull the energy for the Aquarius that are dealing with an Aries. Hmm. Ooh, and it's so funny i have the card january aquarius so if you're a january aquarius it could definitely highly resonate for you um but all aquarius are welcome um mm. i don't know why that just made me think of miss netta almost made you eat the peeling too and charles was like nope okay so you could be like that to an aries all right but um let's talk for a second so let's get a little bit messy let's go ahead and get into the mess let's get into the vibes also like this video comment down below and subscribe i appreciate you coming to my channel definitely checking your girl out and checking out my other channels as well too everything you need to know about me is down below if you want to add me on tiktok pattern instagram book a personal reading check out my metaphysical shop all right see me outside of tarot land go look at the latest vlog my gardening videos etc yeah enough of that let's get into this okay um so this Aries energy is giving very walky, 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 walky vibes. Okay, so for those of you guys, let's go ahead and pull the energy first. If you're dealing with an Aries, uh, let's see how this person is viewing you. So if you're dealing with an Aries here with the devil card, this person could be viewing you as their worst nightmare, their worst enemy, or they could be viewing you in a very toxic light. Um, for those of you guys here, yeah, if I was forced, you could have recently gotten some type of argument, beef, or... Um, had an exchange of words or a problem with an Aries here and this person is making you out to be the villain all right or the bad guy or the bad girl um for us you guys here if you are dealing with an Aries I thought like this is somebody here who is only dick riding you or they're only supporting you because you are successful you're getting attention or because other people are doing it but as soon as somebody else stops doing it they're going to stop doing it too so they're a bandwagoner when it comes to your vibe they riding your waves okay well as you guys see if you're dealing with the aries nine of swords i do see this person could definitely be having like dreams or nightmares about you here or there could be something here that's like i won't say irritating them but it's definitely bothering them when it comes to uh the relationship that y'all share or that you have going on all right yeah so if you're dealing with the aries this could be like what's on their mind and the energy I'm also see for some of you guys this person may be may be with somebody here who like you got your money together you got a kingpin you may live somewhere nice or you got the nicest cars clothes the hoes i suppose i just want to be successful like you may they may be as successful in some type of way but for once this person could be gossiping about you or like um there could be aries here who wants you to surrender but i feel like this is somebody here who like they could be a third party or like they're a part of some type of group yeah there's like an aries this person's a part of some type of group whether it's just like i don't know if it is like a friend group a family co-workers uh a design group something regarding a, a partnership whatever but two of swords I feel like there's an Aries. For some of you guys, if you're dealing with the Aries, this person is indeed um, hiding something from you, okay? Or like, you know, you may need to keep your eye on this person if that makes sense. If you're dealing with the Aries. Well, that's kind of bright. Ooh, that's kind of bright. Hold on. I don't know. That might be a little too bright. Okay. I hope it's not these lines showing up on the video. Like, every time I use my vanity light on camera, it gives these lines. But then again, when I use my ring light, it'll give the lines. So, I don't really know. I'm just going to leave it off. I'm done with it. Um, anyways, like I said, if you're dealing with the Aries as well, too, um, you have to remember that um, if you're dealing with this person or you're dealing with the Aries, period, um, this is somebody here who ace of pentacles. They're only around you for what they could get. Or more importantly, how they can receive something. Let me turn my ring light up just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, back to what I was saying. This is kind of the energy that I'm getting, like, from you guys dealing with an Aries. Also, what I'm seeing here as well, too. Um, if you're dealing with the Aries as well, too, I'm seeing, like, this person could be gossiping about your financial status, about your money, wanting to ask you for something here, or could be gossiping or, like, in a jealous kind of way because you have something that they don't have or you're doing something they don't do. This person could be trying to, like, compete with you. I'm also seeing, like, if you're dealing with the Aries as well, too, you could be about to have an argument with this person or you already had an argument with them. But, like, the Six of Wands energy, this person could be trying to figure out how you're not phased or how you're not bringing it to light or, you know, this person could be trying to, like, put on, like, some type of poker face. Okay, they're just fine. They're not doing anything, but they're, they are. 
okay and also for some of you guys if you're dealing with the aries here with the nine of swords you need to know that this person is um working against you with a group of people okay or signing with a group of people here and they're trying to alienate you alienate you push you out or somehow make you feel left out okay but who really gives a fuck you know you're an Aquarius. you know who gives a fuck okay um but let's go ahead and get into the reading all right so first things first but some of you guys, if you're dealing with the area for there, you're a man or a female, you need to understand that this person can't keep a man or this person can't keep a woman, okay, with the four of cups. This could be why they're always having guy problems, girl problems, or they're always talking about, you know, they often talk to somebody about their man, what their man is doing or what their woman is doing or whatever it is. All right, well, this person kind of always wanting to know what's going on in your life, your relationship, your marriage, two of swords energy, all right, because they could be upset because they can't keep a man or they can't keep a woman or they don't feel like with the Page of Cups, people view them, you know, as a catch, if that makes sense. Because, you know, with the Page of Cups, that's like that fickle energy, that funny energy, that do you have a child energy, that, um, you know, when you're on a two-man, you get the, the that person energy. Um, yeah, and I feel like Ten of Cups, you could have, like, a, a whole bunch of men, a whole bunch of women, or you have a good track record, you have a roster, you have a collection, or something of the sort here. And the person who can't keep a man or can't keep a woman, just Aries placement, um, yeah, I feel like with the title card, they could be, like, a time when they're consistently having all over again. Yeah, King of Swords, this person could definitely, um, watch you in detail, um, pay the swords here, stalk you, your relationships, the things you have going on, and how you interact with the opposite sex or the same sex, Queen of Wands, because they feel like you do it so well, all right, or they feel like, you know, um, you have your way with the men or you have your way with the women, all right, and I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, even if you're single or you're not single, I feel like, you know, when you're single, you have the most suitors or the most people or the most... You know, motherfuckers, it's all in your ear, all in your business, trying to figure out who you is, what you're doing. Um, like that song. He was like, what's your name? My name, Nick. Where you from? New York and this bitch. Choose and pick. You got the right one. Like, you know. Hold on, y'all. My lash got stuck. But like, that's how the person feels. Like, you know, people may want to buy your heart. Okay? People don't want to buy their heart. The mall is open, but ain't nobody shopping. Okay? So, that's going to be how an Aries feels. Or, like, if you're dealing with Aries, um, whether it's platonically, romantically, whatever it is, that's how the person feels. Um, you know, let's move on. And I feel like, you know, people want to buy your heart. Okay? Now, for some of you guys here, if you're dealing with the Aries placement, you need to know that this person is using you as a scapegoat in some type of way. They're using you as a scapegoat or blaming something on you. Yeah, this is regarding gossip. Like, they're intentionally blaming something on you, gossiping, or whatever it is here, all right? And you're going to get the guidance about this, or you're going to get the clarity about this. Yeah, they're using you as a scapegoat um, just so, you know, they won't be in the midst of something. They won't get the backlash from something or someone, or something won't be their responsibility, or something won't be their fault, okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, whoever this person is, I feel like... They could be around people who are wearing masks too, or like this person could be using you as a scapegoat because they're being forced to put on a mask or forced to masquerade around as somebody they're not. Okay, and the ancestors seeing this shit. You may not notice it's going on behind your back, but your ancestors are seeing this. Okay, you could be like a deer in headlights when you find out about this, but this person is very creative about using you as a scapegoat in some type of way here recently, or that's what they're going to do here. But this person is going to want your forgiveness here, or they're going to want to try to reconcile with you. So it's like you use me as a scapegoat, so you wouldn't have the backlash, or you wouldn't be outcasted, or people wouldn't feel like you're being funny, or whatever it is. Or you wanted to blame me for this. But then they're going to be trying to be that cool. Yeah, this person could be trying to um, be delusional right now. Make it seem like that's not what it is. They're not gossiping about you or, you know, um, they care about you. But I feel like the clarity is going to shine through. Yeah, I feel like also there could be a feminine ancestor here specifically. And this person's like, oh, you got me fucked up. You got my baby fucked up. And, um, you know, I feel like it's a source. Whatever they use you as a scapegoat as, I feel like it's going to be coming back around. People are going to realize, like, oh, you lied. Or, oh, you just bullshit. Or, oh, you really is a fake-ass, messy-ass motherfucker. Okay? Yeah, and I feel like this is going to be coming up in your dreams as well, too, for some of you guys here to give you the confirmation of clarity. Yeah, but it's saying, you, you ain't trying to usually scapegoat around envious people here, and they're all envious of you, so I would not worry about it. Yeah, they have a strategy, but the strategy is not going to go how they think it's going to go. Okay? Yeah, they're being very sly and sneaky at the current time being here. Also, for some of you guys as well, too, if you're dealing with a, um, not a cancer, I don't know why I say that. You may need to go check out the cancer reading. If you're dealing with the Aries place, what you need to know is that this person will be begging you for something, okay? Begging you, asking you, whatever it is. Begging and asking is, is basically the same thing to me. Um, but yeah, this person will be begging y'all for something here. 
But I feel like whatever they're begging you for here, it's because this person could have some type of unfinished business here. They're trying to develop something, and they understand they're not going to be able to do it, or they're going to have a hard time doing it here um, unless you help them or unless you give them what they're asking for, what they're begging for. This could be somebody who's spirit of the dog. Um, they could be your friendship, your companion, your lover, or you have some type of undying loyalty to them or vice versa. But whatever the fuck, but there's like a moon card. There's something that you don't know about them or like about the connection. I feel like this person could be asking for something. All right. But this is somebody here who really wants to have like some type of control over you or some type of arena or something of the sort. This is why they're asking for that. Yeah, I feel like what's going on. This could also be somebody here who's very stagnant here. And if we help them, you will be stagnant as well. Or whatever they're begging for, asking for, you need to tell their ass no. All right. Because this person here, what's going on? This could also happen in the past for some of you guys here. Um, this person could have begged you or asked you for something. But at the same time, they was over here. Um, they may act like they fuck with you, but when they around other people or when they out in the community, they act like you the elephant in the room. People will always want to go run and tell about. So this person may go run and tell about all your business or go run and tell and say like, oh, this person didn't help me. They didn't give me this. They didn't give me that. So I'm going to get revenge on them or, you know, I'm going to um, act like I don't need them. Everything's fine. But in reality, like, you know, yeah. Or more importantly, um, I don't want to lose the connection that we have, but I'm going to act funny. I'm going to act weird. Okay, so don't help their ass no way. Don't help their ass no way. All right, also, for some of you guys, if you are a January Aquarius, okay, and you're specifically dealing with an Aries, let's see what you need to know. You're a January Aquarius and you're dealing with the Aries, let's see what they need to know here. Yeah, we got the Lover's card. So this could be a lower loved one, Eight of Swords. What you need to know is that this person is um, definitely frustrated right now when it comes to the connection y'all have, whether it's platonic or romantic. Um, this person is very frustrated right now because I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Ooh. So if you're January Aquarius dealing with this Aries, this person here, they're scared that something's going to come back and bite them in the ass. I feel like they could have put in a lot, in, a lot of hard work, okay, um, into lying on you. Yeah. This, this Aries person could have put in a lot of hard work either on lying on you or lying to you. And I feel like the Five of Cups, all their hard work is going to be for nothing. Because I feel like what's going on is that either you're going to cut them off or whoever they lied on you to or lied about you to, this person about to cut them off. Or it's going to be like a big conflicting situation where everything's going to come crashing back on them. Or this, or this person may even come back and tell you what they said. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're a January Aquarius dealing with a Aries, what you need to know is that with the Queen of Swords, Cherry Cards, King of Pentacles, um, this person here, if you're traveling with them or you're going anywhere with this person, um, you, King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Energy, this person, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, they're going to be owing you. So, like, if you're traveling with them, if you're going on vacation with them, if you're trying to elevate them or make some type of moves with this person you need to understand that this person is only going to be able to make those moves if you finance them if you help them if you give them this new beginning this new idea the creation the energy etc because i feel like somebody's not going to be able to do that shit or that's not in the cards for them six of swords seven of swords also um what's going on here i'm also saying if you're if you're a january aquarius you know, with the aries you may think that somebody got some type of money to go somewhere or to go out or travel or some money to invest in something and they say they do and or they say they're going to pay you back and they never do or, you know, um, this person ain't got their finance and shit together, okay? Um, so, just be aware of that. Also, for some of you guys here, um, if you're dealing... Yeah, Knight of Swords Energy. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. If you're dealing with the Aries, um, Aquarius, you need to know that this person is trying to lure you into getting jumped, okay? Yeah, this person is trying to lure you into getting jumped, into getting, like, into a fight, and to something like that because i feel like the six of wands energy with the hanging man whatever they're trying to jump you with or fight you with or whatever this like tit for tat is going on there's people here who are jealous of your victory they're jealous of the news you have going on jealous of you being on your high horse jealous of you being prince ali okay guilty as he prince of abagua okay your princess jasmine you're giving it vibe okay and they're jealous of it these people here who like it takes more than one person to take you down this is the reason why they're doing this it takes more than one person to them wants to take you down here or to beat on you and i feel like these people here could have a lot of problems or issues or a lot of heavy shit they're dealing with here at the, in their life or in their home and with the knight of pentacles they know that you they can't come around you with their bullshit or they could be trying to lure you into getting jumped because you're not going through any of that yeah with the knight of pentacles you could be having a piece of mind having everything together and they hating from the outside of the club they can't even get in so now they're trying to shoot up the club okay three of swords energy here yeah, three of wands while your back turned what you suspect that they could also be inviting you out somewhere all right or asking you to go here go there go somewhere you're unfamiliar with here with the page of wands seven of cups here or trying to get you to travel somewhere 
where you don't know anybody or you're a little ways away from civilization or whatever it is ten of swords with the empress card to jump on you or like yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like with some of you guys here, this could also be a scenario where, like, with the Page of Cups, you could get some type of invitation. Ten of Swords here, and you could be like, mm, I don't know if I should go. I'm going to decline it. But with the King of Wands, I feel like somebody end up asking you to go, but then you end up feeling uneasy there. Next thing I know, um, not, thing I, not, not the next thing I know. Next thing you know, there could be, like, somebody from the past or something from the past irritate this person or somebody you want to bring up or whatever it is, and it causes a big drama, a big mess with the Lover's card with the moon card and it end up being like an ambush or like a bait and switch type of vibe so just be careful um with this person because there is gossip and surroundings about motherfuckers who saying they're saying they're blowing steam but it's like bitch if you gonna do me one do me one bitch okay hope it be your best one but yeah two pentacles this is aries just two-faced it's aries two-faced as fuck now for some of you guys if you're dealing with the aries placement and this person is a family member understand this person is gossiping about you they telling all your fucking business it's telling all your fucking business. So, like, if you got an Aries placement, okay, or Aries, and this person is a family member, the person telling, like, all your motherfucking business. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this person could be talking about, like, you going to school, and if you went to school, if you got a degree, what you've been doing, what you've been learning. Yeah. Also, if you have any, like, health issues, okay, this person could be talking about your health issues or talking about, like, you know, your health in some type of way, if you have any. Um, for us, you guys here, if you're dealing with this Aries, they're also gossiping. Um, it's a lot of family gossip. They're gossiping when not only them, um, not only just them and one family member, but them and the whole family gossiping about you. But they the ringleader coming back and telling them all your business. Okay, I'm bringing you up. All right. They're also gossiping about how you need to iron things out in your life, how you need to get your life together, or about like things that you could be in the midst of fixing, or you're trying to fix, or you're trying to get your shit together. Yeah, they talking shit about you. Um, also, they could be talking about your body and your meals as well too. Like you could be eating at fancy restaurants, you could be cooking more, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And they could be saying like, oh, who's doing that? Who's paying for that for them? Where they get that money from? Ooh, they got food stamps, or oh, they eating a little bit too much, or oh, their body looks different. Either you're losing weight, you're gaining weight here, or like you know, they're just talking about your body or how you're shaped. All right, and if us you guys here, um, you know, yeah, Aquarius. Here go the Aquarius thing right here. Um, the charm. It's another charm that I thought that fell. Also, um. For some of you guys here, uh, this Aries placement, this was talking about you, they could be going, like, on dinner dates and, like, linking up with their family friends and people they fuck with in the family, and they're gossiping about you as well over breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, but they're more importantly talking about you when you link up with your friends or if you're going on a date or who you're dating as well, too. Um, and they're also gossiping about, let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah, they're gossiping about, you know, you meaning a true love or having a true love or having people here who, like, genuinely care for your love and soulmates and soul family. How you're either manifesting this, you have them currently in your life, or more importantly, how um, you put them above your family. And then also talking about um, how your life is going to be destroyed or you're going to be having a tower moment or there's going to be some type of unforeseen change. Like, you know how people, when um, they be like your family, they be gossip about you and they be like, oh, okay, um, you know, this person how do you say like oh you know if they don't do a b c and d or need to be careful because blase 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 you know how like they be shit like that and they be like what are you talking about for real like yeah it could be something like that going on and it's so funny i got my mouse i just got my mouse off the floor um you could definitely have an like, aries who is like playing like cat and mouse with you in some type of way like tit for tat Okay, and they could be gossiping about that or saying, like, you're doing this to them even if you're not. Like, here. Oh, y'all. I'm trying to connect this shit in the back of here. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to worry about that shit. I'll connect it when I get off of here. All right, well, let's see. Anything else you need to know um, about those of you guys who are dealing with Aries placements? So let's go ahead and see. Alright, so for those of you guys, um, Aquarius, that are dealing with Aries placements, you need to understand that this person is worried about your Benjamins. They're worried about your bag. Okay, this person needs to be focused on their own Benjamins or getting or securing their own fucking bag here. And then for us, you guys here, if you're dealing with them, they could be having issues with their fucking bag. That's why they worry about your bag. Yeah, I feel like you need to listen to your intuition. This person calls also only be around you to ask you for your Benjamins, okay, for your money. Alright, also for some of you guys here... Um, what you need to know about an Aries placement is that they are um, working alongside a jealous ass earth sign in Capricorn Virgo 
Taurus, this person's jealous of you as well too. These people are both working um, together, and I feel like if they want some smoke, tell them they want some smoke. But some of you guys here, if you're dealing with the Aries placement here, you might need to go get in the studio on this motherfucker, even if you've never been to the studio before. You need to go get into the studio and drop a diss track on their ass because they got you fucked up, okay? Even if you don't rap, okay? Even if you've never been to a studio before, even if you've never done that before, go. Go have some fun. Go book an hour-long studio session. Get some drinks. Get some blunts. Bring your friends, whoever it is. Or even if you want to do it by yourself, that's cool. But drop a diss track on their ass. Them and the chillest ass earth sign. Or just them, period. Um, also, for some of you guys here, if you're dealing with the Aries, there's going to be Aries here who wants to join forces with you. Like an Aries placement, they're going to want to join forces with you. But you may think that they're genuine, but it's only because you guys have a common enemy and they're not strong enough to take that person down. Okay? Either they're going to try to join forces with you, or more importantly, they're going to try to join forces with somebody else because you're the common enemy. Alright? Um, but yeah, the answer you seek is near, so you'll be getting an answer or a sign that you want here about an Aries very, very soon. Whether it's platonic or romantic. Alright? Also, for some of you guys here, if you're dealing with the Aries placement here... Um, and this person is a film member, you need to understand that there may be some property or land wars or conversations, okay, or inheritance, all right, that's just going to be coming back up, okay, then more important, this person don't want you to either know about it once you have it. Also, there could be an Aries here who was spreading rumors about you being fraud or you being fake or you being funny acting, and now this person regrets the rumors or regrets what they said about you, like, yeah, this person could have been really talking shit about you saying it was fake, um... Or you was a fraud, like you know, for me personally, I'm a reader. They could say, Oh, you're a fraud reader, or whatever. Like, the person who was saying you're fake, or you're a fraud, or like you phony, or you, you know, funny acting, or whatever it is. And this person was spreading rumors or trying to justify the reason why they were saying all that here. And I feel like your Native American ancestor, they looking at this motherfucker like, Baby, I'm finna show your ass, I'm finna do you one. Yeah, also, for some of you guys here, if you're dealing with the Aries placement here, um, they could be dealing with the cancer, an Aries and a cancer placement, they both could be trying to stop you in some type of way. All right, but I feel like you're unstoppable. But I feel like more importantly, just keep going, just keep going here. All right, yeah, if you're dealing with this airspace, the last one, um, this person may try to put you in a scenario that shows you, um, or they're gonna do a scenario and they're gonna show you how much they fuck with you, how much they love or care for you, whether it's just like good or bad. Um, all right, so pay attention to that. Um, but yeah, that dog food on the block with that dog food truck coming, bump, bump, police coming, we the wee, where the fuck to run now. Okay, that's going to be it. Okay, bye.